I'm a 33-year-old with allergic conjunctivitis. What's suitable for my case, blepharoplasty or facial fillers? Thank you for your question. You're 33 years old and you have a history of allergic conjunctivitis and you've posted a photo where it's clear that you have some puffiness. And you're asking about what's your best option. Well, as a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, I deal with a lot of patients who have a, an allergic conjunctivitis history. And the first thing I recommend before we entertain any surgical procedure is management. Management of the allergies. You see, allergic conjunctivitis will cause swelling and puffiness to the eye area even with reduction of fat. And that's basically the challenge. If there is puffiness that's related to fat prolapse, which is the fat that's normally around the eye pushing forward, um, that's also called fat herniation, then that can be addressed surgically. But if the goal is, of course, to reduce puffy bags from the eyes, then we should try to manage it from all angles. So meet with your doctor, whether it's your ophthalmologist and the allergist, to get on the right regimen of antihistamines, eye drops, maybe nasal sprays, etc. if there's a rhinitis component to this, and try to get that under control. Now, if that's all under control and you have bulging of fat that's pushing forward, well then, the most common procedure that I recommend for someone who's young, dark-skinned, and has fat prolapse is a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. What that procedure is, is the reduction and sculpting of fat from the inside of the eyelid. This way, there's no scar on the outside. When you're young and you have dark skin, you're more likely to show a, an incision, even if it's done very fine and de very you know, beautifully, but at the same time, if we can avoid it, we want to avoid it. So I routinely, in my younger patients uh, with darker skin quality and skin types, I should say, I'd, I will uh, perform transconjunctival blepharoplasty to assist them in reducing the area of puffiness. Now, once that's done, of course, I encourage my patients to still manage their allergies because seasonal allergies and other things can certainly still affect the final aesthetic result. And so the surgery can handle the fat, but the management of the allergies is critically important for long-term uh, enjoyment of nice-looking eyes. I hope that was helpful to you, and thank you for your question.